Okay, I uh, have Baruch Hashem uh, students here, uh, our last class. Here's a little exercise just, you know, that you can do to get your, uh, your, your thumb and your rhythm and all that stuff in, uh, in harmony and get kind of an automatic motion that we talked about between string six and string four in the key of G. And I showed you several songs where this type of uh, approach is used and is, is really effective. And uh, the approach is, it starts off with going, making a G chord, anchoring down here, making a G with your pinky at uh, string uh, one fret three and your ring finger at string uh, six fret three. And just going between that first and the fifth like this, See, I'm just doing that on the, and that's the anchor, that's my bass, that's my alternated bass. It's just going between the first and the fifth. And then when I switch to a C chord in certain songs, something, uh, I don't get to this in a third or fourth short tape here, but um, in most, in, in some, cases you can just use this make a C chord but you play a C slash G that we talked about we're actually playing a G in the bass not the C which is a string 5 fret 3 and so this is the easiest thing to start off on because you're just going to go between this G chord which is an open string 4 that you're hitting and then and then you come down to what would look like either an A minor 7th or or the first four strings of a, of a C chord, you put your uh, fingers there, and you're just gonna go back and forth, just like that, three, three, four, one, two, three, four, to a C slash G now. And all it amounts to is you're just putting, you're just changing this bass note down on string four from a D to an E, and when you change it from a D to an E, that E is the third of the, of the C chord and you're now actually playing a C chord. You, know, you put your finger down here at string two fret one, but you're not gonna use it because that's just gonna come in in a, a lot of songs that you're gonna play. So just get it set there. You know, you're just moving between these two chords and you, you just want this, watch the game. And uh, as long as you can stand it, well, you know, watch the game and uh, just do this, just get your, you know, your, your thumb is learning the distance between that string you're skipping, or that, you know, uh, string five, to hop over that and get string four, and you're just doing that on two chords, and um, at, 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 as the roots for two chords. I told you that was the first song that I ever played, and it just went like this, and I'll give you the link to that song. It's popular song back in the 60s uh, among uh, folk and folk rock people it was and and I realized well that's really the whole song it's just this and, and it, it, you know you just add a couple little embellishments down here that I get to an ensuing tape and you wind up with you know, a sound like that, and I'm, I'm trying to minimize that so you hear the bass. That's what you want to really be concentrating on right now, but. You know, anything that I add that way. It's just all, just some stuff I'm adding here, but that it's that bass that drives, that's driving the band of your, of your hand here. So just, so you really want to get that down. So this is solid, that you never have to think about that. That's, and think about you're changing to a chord, you're changing to, it would be either a, a, a C slash G with a G in the bass, or it can be considered uh, in many cases an A minor seventh with a seventh in the bass. Either way, it's a very popular musical movement. You're moving from the first to the fourth, or you're moving from the first to the minor second, which is really popular in a lot of songs. So that's your first exercise. Just get that down and make it, you know, just seem natural as can be. 
and that you are in control of it the whole time. You can go back and forth like this or hang on that chord, you know, whatever the song that you're playing for calls for, but that you can make that without thinking. You've got another, you've got other stuff to fight. You know, and so you want to reduce the stuff that you have to fight. Mm -hmm. and, and so you want to make this second nature. All right, have fun watching the game.